Miss Quad, season nine, feeling fine, and you are back where you belong full time. Full time. Other than correct, how does it feel to be back in that intro with a quad? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It feels great to be back in the intro in my rightful position. I think uh, last season definitely lend it to the value in which I bring brought to the show and which in which I bring to the show. And I think um, me not being present present was definitely felt. Taking that step back, did it feel like the right choice in hindsight or do you wish you had been full time last year? Because you were going through some things also. No, I don't wish I was full time last year or last <laughs> season at all. Um, things happened the way they were supposed to. I think it afforded me the opportunity to kind of have some time to take care of some things that uh, I needed to put a button on. And then not only that, I think it allowed uh, the network to see my true value and worth in which I bring to the table uh, in reference to the project, Married to Medicine. Well, stepping into this season, you're also kind of in a new season of life. They're lining up a little bit. What was your mentality going in to being back around this group so much again? You know what? The mentality I had was, honey, yes, yeah, some of you girls are going to be upset, but the doll is back. Fix your face. <laughs> and then when cameras went down, did you still have that same energy or are you bringing a different energy at the end of this? Oh, no, I keep the same energy. Yeah. We keep it consistent. Yeah, we're going to keep it very consistent. Uh, we're getting to see you in, I will borrow a word from Marlo Hampton, Monty mode. Yes. With little Mason, scene stealer, superstar Mason. Uh, Everyone says that about Mason. Okay, I don't like that school bus. Why not? Cause because what? it might be yelling like maniacs on that thing. Uh-uh, not maniacs. And he is hilarious. He's so smart. He's a brilliant kid. What's it been like to kind of embrace that role and really take that on and live in that with him? You know, it's been a great opportunity for me to stand in the absence of my uh, younger brother who recently passed, which is Mason's father, of course. Uh, family has always been first with me. This is just what has been ingrained in me, instilled in me, and I've always felt like I am my family's keeper and, and I'm responsible for them. So um, it was it was a no brainer when it came down to um, us just coming together as a family to see what was the next best move. Uh, for Mason and both uh, his mom and I uh, thought that Georgia was a good place for the both of them. And uh, she too lives here in, 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 in the area. And uh, we wanted to provide him with the best school system and, and, and any resources that uh, I have. And, and that's just kind of what we did. It, it was just a no brainer. So his mom is still involved in his life? Oh, very much so. And you'll be seeing her this season as well. Oh, that'll be nice to see, because I think there are some questions there of how does this all work? Yeah, it just works like a village. In the house, we've got Mason, we've got your mom. What's the dating situation like, Claude, right now? <laughs> the, the dating is still dating. Like, Miss Ma'am is still dating now. My floor plan is lovely, and <laughs> I have my own wing, so I'm okay. So the privacy is there, but still I am mindful that I do have uh, a young mind that's with me, and I need to make sure he understands how a woman is to conduct herself and so he needs to always see, have an image of stability and i want to make sure that uh that i provide that your love life seems to be a topic of conversation within this group maybe want the, the people want to know huh i mean maybe even to a salacious end there is a rumor about quad too that she slept with one of her contractors anything you want to clear up for the people what i do pam <laughs> He's on the contract, honey. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> and I paid him coins, honey. Coins. You understand what I'm saying? I did wire transfers. Now, I wouldn't sleep with anybody who I have to pay. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. It's the Go. Go. Let's go. Let's go. You kiss my ass. Yeah. It wasn't about getting through to Heavenly. It was about getting heavenly, getting heavenly back for everything that she had done and said about everyone and to everyone. We are in the middle of this heavenly intervention. Did you have any idea that that's what you were gonna walk into that night? 
Well, if you go back to the episode, I literally, I, I peeked the scene. I said, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. Oh, okay, you, oh, okay. The deal is I'm very diplomatic in this approach because I'm, I see both sides of the coin. As a friend, I don't think it's fair for you to jump on any social media or whatever platform and dog out your friends, uh, especially say some things that's completely not true about them. I will be dealing with that with heavily moving forward. Um, I really had my pencil and my pen out thinking I was gonna deal with it down to the intervention, but that didn't happen. Yeah, so I that screen grab went around the Twitter sphere of you taking notes during it. What were you writing down? Every damn thing that was coming out of her mouth because I wanted to address it. Okay, you wanted to make sure that you didn't miss anything so that when, if an intervention was actually gonna happen, you could make points about what you saw. Correct, correct. Okay. So that was the one thing. And on the other side of that, the other side of the coin is that um, I don't believe that if you're really trying to get to the core of, of the reason as to why someone is doing something, then I think you need to take more of a tender approach. I think you need to take more of a empathetic approach. Um, and you need to really do that with people, individuals that this particular person trusts. And so when all of that happened, when I initially saw what was going on, I knew that Heavenly was gonna flee. I knew she was gonna flee. Oh, this was too much. Oh, she's out of there. You understand? I knew that that was gonna happen. And then um, secondly, I just, I felt that the whole laughing component, she was not laughing because it was funny. I don't think that Heavenly was laughing because she thought that, oh my God, this is hilarious. No, that was a very nervous laugh. She be at the club, butt ass, naked out there. But you know, if I say she sleep with married men, let me hush. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it was more like, oh my God, I'm caught red handed. They got me. What what do I do? How do I get out of this? So I'm just gonna laugh my way out of this because it's uncomfortable for me to have to deal with it. And that's how I felt. I, I believe wholeheartedly that's what the laugh was about. The intervention moment never actually came to fruition. We got a never. get up, flee, and chaos. So where do things go from here? They get worse. How much worse? They get worse. It gets explosive. Very much so. Yeah. Do you think Heavenly and Contessa can have a friendship moving forward? No, there's no trust there. I think that relationship has run its course and I don't foresee them getting close again ever. Could they be cordial? Absolutely. Will they ever divulge any personal thing? Contessa is never, I, listen, I, Contessa is never probably gonna ever tell anyone on this particular show, while on the show, anything about her personal life. I think those days are over. Well, that kind of takes me back to last season's reunion. You spoke up on Contessa's behalf. Contessa has moved forward with filing. You filed. She filed for a separation. Was that something you guys had discussed before that happened or was that a decision you made in the moment? No, I don't make decisions in a moment about other people's uh, relationships. Uh, I actually had spoken with Contessa and as a friend, I wanted to kind of show support for her, but at the same time, it was, it was, uh, it was pretty challenging for me, but I, you know, this is what she asked me to do. Uh, and I, and I happily obliged because I wanted to show my support for her, but ultimately I do support the Metcalfs. I do support their marriage, you know, and I, I'm, I'm happy to say, I think they're doing better, much better. In being close to Contessa, close to Heavenly, are you able to have those independent relationships and not have them cross over? Or do you ever feel like you're in a tough spot being- No, because I'm, I'm not really gonna let one say too much about the other that's out of line, you know what I mean? Uh, and everyone, I think everyone knows that about me. I, in this particular case, I'm very diplomatic because I care for both of them. I think both of them are beautiful, smart women. Um, and I I don't have an issue with Contessa and I don't have an issue with Heavenly. I, have to, I do have to deal with Heavenly about some things, but in terms of having an overall issue with her, I, I don't. So Heavenly's point of view on the YouTube channel is anything I'm saying is made for public consumption. I'm commenting on things that are already out in the world. 
Do you think that's true or is she fudging the, the line there and sharing something? She's well, sharing? now she, the things that I, in reference to me, now I can only speak to Miss Quad, okay? I'm just gonna speak to Miss Quad because I know Miss Quad personally, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Intimately, I, personally. <laughs> you're very personal, I know Miss Quad personally. So the thing that she said, that she said I had fillers, I don't have fillers, you know what I mean? I have never had any augmentation on my body, uh, minus the surgery that I had to get my fibroids removed. Uh, my body is given to me by Jesus. Thank you, Lord, via my mother. So I, I all of those things were lies. And uh, the whole uh, comment about me, uh, what did she say? Sleeping with married men or sleeping with the contractor? Yeah, that's a no for me too. So uh, that will be something that we will definitely deal with for sure. Do you think anyone is overly sensitive about the things Heavenly has said or is everyone's reaction warranted? Uh, now, Hamlet has said some nasty shit. Let's just keep it real, you know? And I mean, we, it's out there. And he actually saw that she said it. And we know that we can't tell people how to feel. So I can't say overly sensitive. I can say that these are things that made them feel uh, hurt and, and sad. And uh, it, it, it angered them, yeah. Why did things get so tense between you and I am an American, Simone? <laughs> Yes, American, honey. I hope you are American, girl. But if you are gonna drag me, I'm not with you because this is America. It's understandable. I get to choose it's who I with <laughs> every in day in America. It's America. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, that was, that was so, you know what, I just think Simone was just trying to have a moment. Because was that I, just like the contagious chaos of like, everybody's screaming, so let's scream at each let's other. Let's just scream. <laughs> ah! No, but I thought that that was hilarious. And I was like, well, what the hell does America got to do with anything right now? <laughs> I don't have to put no body, I don't want to, this is America. Thankfully, uh. The randomness of that comment broke the tension. Everybody was just like, okay, we have all, we all need to break for the night. It Cameras was, go down. It was so funny. I'm still laughing at it. You know, even now it was so funny. There's still a lot of season to watch. We have just barely scratched the surface of season yeah. nine. Um, we're gonna meet Audra. This group is unpredictable. <laughs> You gotta have your head like on a swivel. Why are we always making special privileges for you? It's not special privileges. She's choosing not to. I'm drink. sorry, you're so not a good attorney. Check. What do we need to know? Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, Audra is a very smart young lady, and what I think. You know, people always try to say, oh, well, the newbies just trying to get in there. They're just trying to create an issue and trying to be seen and trying to get a moment. Uh, not in this case with Audra. And as the season progresses, you will see that Toya consistently takes digs at Audra uh, from her uh, work ethics and how, how good she is uh, as an attorney to the clothes that she wears on her back. So Toya is just consistently picking at this girl and she was fed up. And then you have to pay the seven liens that you have filed. So where are we at? We are in the negative. Pick enough, she'll get picked at back. And exactly. it seemed like she came with some facts in that picking. She, so. she came with big facts. She came uh, well researched. We were on some systems that cost some money to access to get some information. <laughs> indeed, indeed, but we have to remember that she is a real estate attorney. You have real estate issues you should probably not mess with the real estate attorney. I'm just saying, I mean, my train of thought. In what's still to come, what are you most excited to relive yourself or have the fans see? Oh, what I'm most excited about, and I think that everyone is going to love, our girls trip to Las Vegas. Hands down, this was one of the best trips yet. This girls trip, I really feel like the ladies truly let their hair down, honey, and they got wild. The people got wild. The ladies were very wild, honey. Oh, you Vegas, baby! Oh, hell, queen! Things happen in Vegas. <laughs> oh my God, I just peed. <laughs> and then on the flip side, anything you're bracing for impact for, anything you'll be watching through covered fingers over your eyes that you're nervous to relive? Uh, not me. No, I mean, I'm ready to deal with it all. In fact, I'm gonna have a good time dealing with it. Should anybody be nervous? A lot of people should be nervous. Yeah, if you had my name in your mouth in any type of negative way, you should probably be on pins and needles and be nervous. 
You should probably be shaking in your boots right now. And you'll come and collect those girls at the reunion. Snatching edges. Like you always do. <laughs>